Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're going to play around with a few different power tools and we're going to see what happens when we contaminate a bolt with oil. It's going to lower the friction and we're going to see if we can do some error proofing detection with the features of these power tools. All right, the first tool we're going to use is an off the shelf programmable impact. There's really no capability for error proofing in a tool like this because it doesn't count angle and it doesn't measure the torque. The second tool we have is a smart tool. This measures torque, it measures angle, and it allows us to put some parameters around the tightening. So if we get contamination and we're going to make a bad part, it's going to tell us that and give us feedback to make sure we're getting good quality tightenings. Let's check it out. All right, we're going to start with the impact with a dry bolt and a normal assembly. Let's see how it goes. So it appeared to be a good tightening with the impact, but it didn't give us feedback or data. So we really don't know if it's a good quality joint or not. When we try it with the smart tool, it's going to give us some information to make sure that we have a good quality tightening. So with the smart tool, we got almost exactly 100 newton meters and 74 degrees of final tightening angle. That's how many degrees it took to take the bolt from 25 newton meters up to 100 newton meters of torque. Let's see what happens. We add some contamination and switch back to the impact tool. Here we go. All right, so when we contaminated the bolt with oil, we lowered the coefficient of friction and it broke with the impact. But with the smart tool, we're able to stop the process before we have to make a costly repair. So all I have to do at this point is back the bolt out, clean the contamination, and I'm back off and running production. And I got data collected to prove that I get a good quality joint. All right, there we have it. The difference between costly rework and expensive downtime and keeping up with high volume, high speed production. All right, we'll see you next time.